Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you what to do if you're getting the error event ID 161 in Volume Manager on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to disable the automatic restart. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type csdm.cpl and select it as a control panel item from the search result. Now in here in the following window, click on the advanced tab and afterwards under startup and recovery, click on the settings button. Now the next things that you have to do in here is to untick the box next to automatically restart and then click on the drop down menu under write debugging information and select the complete memory dump option. Now click on OK to save the changes, restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to use registry editor. To do this press the windows button then simply type reg edit. Now select it as an application from the search results. In here, navigate to the following location, H key local machine, then system, afterwards expand current control set, then expand control, and lastly click on crash control. Now the next move is to right click on an empty space on the right side of this window, hover over new, and select the word value. Now name this value display parameters. And the last thing you have to do in here is double click on this new D word and in the value data type in 0 then press on OK. Now restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line another useful solution is to run some system scans. To do this press the windows button type in cmd then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window make sure to copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below but press on enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time so don't lose patience. Afterwards restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to update your drivers. To do this right click the windows button then select device manager from the list of options. Now in the device manager window make sure to locate any problematic device it usually shows with an exclamation sign next to it so expand it right click on the problematic device and select the update driver option. Now click on search automatically for drivers and windows will try to locate the best drivers already on your PC. But if this is not enough you can also click on search for updated drivers on windows update. Now you will be taken to the official Windows Update settings page where you can check for updates, then download and install them. Afterwards you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course if this video helped you make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.